Hello everyone, my name is Monica and welcome back to my channel Mooney Reads where I talk about books and things and I just gotta say my hair is behaving rather well lately. <laughs> yes, my camera is flashing, let me go change the battery. Okay, batteries all changed and here we are and I am gonna tell you what my TBR for this month is. <laughs> And the reality is, I don't have a TBR for this month. Um, the last month, I kind of dropped the ball on my TBR and I realized that I was just forcing myself to read books because I have them and not because I wanted them. So I, the only thing that I am going to announce is that I am doing a read along with Sarah, one of my best friends, not just in Booktoville, but in real life and her channel is Voyages Through Time or Through Words. I will link it up here anyway. <laughs> She's amazing guys, you really should subscribe to her, especially if you like fantasy because you know I don't read a lot of fantasy. So if you're missing that fantasy element from your life, Sarah has it for you. Um, other than that, what have I to say? Yes, we're doing a read along of um, a, sea, a Sea of Stars and let's see, I, I am so prepared. I'm always so prepared for my videos. What is it called? To Sleep in a Sea of Stars by Christopher Paolini. This is really weird because Sarah doesn't really read uh, science fiction and he is a, known as a fancy writer. So I thought like, it would be so good for us to meet in the middle and just read the first science fiction book written by a, son, by a fantasy writer. So. Um, I, I invite you to join us. I am going to be tweeting a lot. My Twitter is always linked down below. I always tweet the craziest things, but I'm going to be tweeting my thoughts on the book. And then of course, if you want to talk to me about it or whatever, just um, DM me. <laughs> my DMs are always open, babe. So just DM me about it. So that's the first book that I am definitely going to be reading in the month. But as for the rest of the books, I do have some books here, especially in my Audible library. Oh, I'm going to read The Year of the Witching. I have the um, physical version, but it's in my bedroom and I don't want to go get it. So here you get a pretty picture of it. The Year of the Witching, I really, to me, spooky season ends November 30th. And even then, I'm still going to read spooky books because I like them. So I'm going to be reading that. I'm going to be reading Waking Gods by Sylvain Novelle. And I'm hopefully going to be reading Only Human by Sylvain Novelle also. Um, I really want to finish that series. I want to I read The Stone Sky uh, by N.K. Jemisin. I want to finish that. And I want to read Good Morning Midnight by Lily Brooks Dalton. Because I found out that there's going to be a movie made of that. And I... And one of my favorite actresses of all time is going to be in it. Um, I'm so excited for it. So, um, and I have them all in my library. So that, you know, it's just kind of things that I want to get to. But I'm going to be leaving my uh, reading open to my mood reading. Because last month I just felt like so constricted in my TBR because it was just so big and ambitious that I ended up not reading anything from that TBR at all. So I just want to kind of leave it open. I'm also, you know, uh, I'm working so much, getting through so many things that I just don't know when I have the time to read. And honestly, it just gets to the point where I get home and I go to bed. Like I don't even eat dinner or anything. I just get home because I get home like at 9.30 or 10 p.m after teaching and some days I'm teaching from 9 a.m. to 10 p.m. Yeah, yeah, that, that's right. Like I have two hours off or something, but I'm not using those two hours to to read. I'm using it to grade papers. I'm using it to prepare classes and things like that. So I don't really have a plan this month. However, I did want your help and I want you to recommend books to me that you think I would like. Of course, you know my taste because you guys know me better than I know myself. Hee hee ha ha, you know. Oh, there is one more book. Hang on. I, I saw Rachel from the Shades of Orange do a whole like scary books that um, other scary like uh, horror channels recommend. And somebody recommended Silk by Caitlin R. Kiernan. And I found it for two euros at um, a, book, uh, a bookstore. No, I found it on Amazon. And I'm very excited 
to read this the, the book is like so floppy and nice so this might make it on there like i said i'm just leaving it open to mood reading because i am a mood reader 100 percent, and sometimes i can set myself goals and stuff like that but not all the time and i just think that sometimes it's just good to let it go let yourself go and and be free my friend <laughs> you know so this was just a short little tbr ish thing and also my new shirt is kind of cool so i'm gonna wear it for the next video you see and well uh without any further ado i bid you adieu i leave you with a friendly reminder that as of now i'm posting monday wednesdays and fridays and that i will see you in another galaxy far far away Bye.